Today is a great, wonderful, amazing, incredible day because it's a Germany day. Germany German versus Swiss German. Without further ado, let's get into this reaction. Let's go. Spital. Krankenhaus. Sounds so harsh. Whoa. Krankenhaus. Yeah, it sounds really different. Before we start, I have no clue what the difference is between Swiss German and Germany German. I don't know if I've ever heard a Swiss person even speak German. So this is going to be very, very interesting for me because is there a difference? If you're both speaking German, what is the difference? Let's see. Let's hear it. Hello. Yes. Big difference. Mm, All right. German and Switzerdeutsch. I mean, it is still a dialect. So. It is, wow, his but voice it's also is so deep. I feel like I'm not manly enough. Like, that was a, the deepest Barry White tone I have ever heard in my life. <laughs> wow, deep voice. Anyways, that, I digress. He just threw me off. He, he doesn't look like he would have a deep voice, but yeah. The okay, languages, continue. like we have more <laughs> words that come from different languages, like French, Italian, mm. even Latin. That's what you don't have. Okay. <laughs> Let's just say we can understand each other as long as you want us to understand you. That's true. Why is his voice true. like it's that? Kind of like a Jeez. magic from Swiss people. We can make them understand us, yeah. but we can also choose not to make them understand oh. us. Based on the words, the words you say, right? Yes, yes. Or the dialect we say. That's so beautiful. Yeah. Though. Like in Germany, we're losing all the dialects, kind of. Mm. In Switzerland. Uh, you still have them. We also have four languages. Depending where you live. Like, yeah, which yeah. area. Wow. In the south, you speak Italian. In the west, you speak French. In the middle, you speak German. And on the right, you have Roman, Latin language. German wow. is still spoken by uh, 60% of yeah. the people there, so it's a majority. So big cities, most of Base. them speak German. There are just some Geneva. few, except Geneva, except Lausanne. Mm. <laughs> right. So we will compare some words from Switzerland and Germany. So the first word is hospital. Hospital. Spital. Our spital. word comes from hospital. We just took the ho away and put spital. So it's like hospital without ah, the Spital. Krankenhaus. <laughs> Krankenhaus. Yeah. Krank. Krankenhaus. Is that how you say um, hospital? I would not want to go to the Kraken House. <laughs> it sounds like it sounds like serious. I mean, you know, hospitals are serious, but the Kraken Kraken House. He's gone to the Kraken House. I'll be like, oh god, crack Kraken House. I don't know. It just sound it just sound very harsh. <laughs> but then, yeah, hospitals are not nice places. So Bank, sick house house very ah the sick house. Of course, Germany, Germany. Trust Germans to be very rational, very thought out, very straight to the point, very concise. It is the sick house. I get it. I get very it. Straightforward. Sounds so hard. Very straightforward. Whoa. Cotton house. Would you understand? Yes, yeah, of course. Right? Because we speak high German too. In our language, Swiss German, it's spital. So we just took it directly from Latin, I guess. Whereas we try to like make it as German sounding as possible. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it sounds really different. In Germany, if you have an accident and you say, uh, bring me to a spital, spital, they'd be like, who? Oh. Yeah, they wouldn't <laughs> understand. So I know like France took the H off. So it's influenced by Latin, right? Yes, yes. The word spital, hospital. Spital, hospital. Bicycle. Okay, so the next word is bicycle. Velo. Hmm? Velo. Like French. Velo. 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 Say a yeah. fart. Driving fart. wheel, I suppose. I don't know. Oh, is that the translation? It's driving wheel? I, I think so. Yeah. Okay, uh, that's very different. Again, we're influenced by French or by Latin. So that I can explain you that our news, our radio, in school, everything is in German. Mm. Okay. In the German part, obviously, not in the French part. Right, okay. right. In the German part, it's in his language. Okay. So that's why we speak both of them. That's so cool. <laughs> so Swiss, they don't really have their own language. No, 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 they don't have their own language. They speak all the languages surrounding them. Interesting. Skirt. Okay, so next word is skirt. Rock. 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 Rock and roll. Rock and roll. <laughs> Rock and roll. Rock. 
it's it's the same. Oh, okay. All oh, right. Oh, so it's similar. Skirt is rock. Rock. Similar. Hmm. To walk. Okay, and next word is to walk. Loafer. We have a lot Loafer. of air. <laughs> Loafer. It's the same. Yeah. Laufen. It's just Laufen. pronounced. Laufen. Laufen, isn't it? Laufen. Is it Laufen? Different. Exactly. Laufen. Mm. Okay, it's not right. I know he's like, me like... I like Laufen better. I, it sounds like I've heard that before. Laufen. Um, whereas Lofa just sounds a bit... Hmm. It's non-committal to the word. <laughs> no, 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 it is right. No worries. You're doing great. Okay. You're doing great. <laughs> trying, trying. But yeah, I hear the difference. Mm. To run. Okay, and next is to run. Renna. Renna. Renen. That is so ah. similar. Can you do it one more time? Renna. Renen. Renna sounds like sound. Yeah, sounds Spanish almost. Renna. Then she's either Renen. Nen. Okay. It's the same again, like with the a. They're just shortening it a little, but it's the mm -hmm. same. Okay. A lot of German people say that we swallow the words. <laughs> I mean, why not? Yeah, yeah. We should shorten it. We do that too, with a T. Hmm. Like, I do it a lot. Instead of saying important, I say important. <laughs> important. So we say important. Yeah, we do that. I, I, in, in where I'm from, in the north of England, we do that. We swallow the last T. Where she's swallowed the middle T, important. I, we say important and and instead of tent <laughs> tent ten. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we swallow some sounds too. <laughs> oh it's more quicker. Yeah. yeah, it's just quicker, I don't know. It's quicker. It's lazy. And to next work. is to work. Schaffen. Schaffen. He's a schaffen, isn't it? Yeah, I heard of it on Arbeiten. Ah, the Korean it's Arubaite, like the part-time work, right? Yeah. Uh, I think yeah. they got it yeah. from there, yeah. From they got it from the German. But I've heard yeah. Schaffen too a lot. Schaffen? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Schaffen. It's the same in German and in Swiss, it means to create something. I go to work, ich go schaffen, means I go to make, because we used to do things with our hands, so ah. we, we're doing yeah. something. Mm. Mm -hmm. Explanation. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I think there were some differences I was hearing. There, it was a bit more shorter when you said some words. Yours is a little bit more difficult to pronounce for me, but I feel mm. like, yeah, I'm just not too familiar with German. Yeah, so you're recommending to new people to uh, try learning Swiss <laughs> <Swiss German. laughs> so German? But if you want to uh, challenge yourself, you know, learn some German too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But there's a fun. For Americans, for Americans, let me preface this. <laughs> I've literally just dropped loads of stuff in my room. <laughs> I won't cut that out, I was gonna leave it. Um, let me preface this. Probably Swiss German or Swiss Deutsch is probably easier for an American to learn because they swallow a lot of their words. Whereas I think German German, Germany German, I think is will be easier for an English person to, to learn. I really do. Fun fact, Personally. we yeah. have no grammatic. Oh. So you can actually oh, put the sentences what? together and talk how you want. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's kind of easy. That's very easy. <laughs> it's good to learn. Uh, I still can't believe they put you in the middle, if I may say. Because, yeah. like, she's from Switzerland. She's supposed to be the neutral mediator, you know? Neutral. <laughs> yeah. I'm the neutral one. Right. <laughs> that's true, that's true. Thank, danke. So, what about the. Dankeschön or Danke, isn't it, in um, German? Am I right? Maybe. Word thanks or thank you. I think that's really similar. Um, in Switzerland, it's danke. It's same, danke. Danke. Yeah. Danke schön, danke schön. Danke schön. schön. Or it depends bitte what schön. really, bitte, like, what, bitte schön. like what area you're in. In Zurich, it's danke. But in Bern, where I'm from, merci. it's merci. Oh, French. French, yeah. Uh. Oh, that's cool. Child. Uh, oh, I feel like I know this. I feel like I know what the, isn't Kinder, is Kinder child in, in Deutsch? Kinder, I could be completely wrong. Okay, and next is child. Kind. Kind. <laughs> With C-H. It's the same in German, uh, Kind. Is it? Like yeah. Kind. 
Yeah, it's a little bit easier. So that's close. <laughs> you write it like kind. 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 And we kind. have C H I N D. Kind. That sound is really hard for me to. Oops, sorry. Kind. <laughs> kind. Yeah. Kind. House. I feel like I know house as well. Oh, I can see it in my mind. You know, when you can see something in your mind, but you can't say it. Uh, oh, I know, I know house. When I see it, I'll, I'll know it. Okay, and <laughs> next. House. I do know it. It's Captain Cook. Who's? So Who's? Is it Houston? Maybe not. Yeah. We should say house. That's house. probably the easiest word yeah. <laughs> so far. It's so yeah. similar to everything else. Yeah. I thought it was like house. Different, yeah. Also, the yeah. writing is different. Like in Switzerdeutsch, H A U S. Mm, yeah, but we don't write it like that. You just you completely let go of the A. Yeah, we do two, two U, so we put H U U S. Really Nordic. Great, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. love. Okay, next word is love. It's I think it's the same. Liebe. Liebe. Das wird hier exist in Germany and we always so hard. <laughs> I don't believe that, and I, I, there's love somewhere deep down in that German heart. Germans don't know about love. Uh, never heard yes, about they do. <laughs> the least romantic people yeah. in the world. <laughs> don't date a German. No, oh, never. No. Date <laughs> don't Swiss date people. a German. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good, good, yeah, good. It's good, right? Good, it's good, it's good. Okay, next is good. Quit. Good. 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 That's an easy word because it's so yeah. similar. Very, to very almost similar. every language. Yeah. yeah. Not French. <laughs> <laughs> there are some words that you said that were a little bit difficult for me to say, but um, yeah, I think it was a little bit easier too because it was shortened a lot. And I think it's really interesting that in Switzerland mm. there's so many different languages that you can speak. So it's really cool and unique. Mm. Yeah, so also a fun thing is. When you say that German is harsh, we make everything in our language lovey-dovey. Everything is cute. Okay. Uh, croissant is kipfeli, steinti, fackeli. So we, we, <laughs> we make everything really cute, and that's the difference between German. No cuteness in German. No, no. no cuteness. We don't do that. Harsh. It's no, no love. We don't do cute. <laughs> love? <laughs> no fun. No fun. <laughs> Yesterday, I was at home. Okay, so for this time, we'll say the sentence. It is, yesterday, I was home. Gestern bin ich daheim gewesen. Bist du wie ehrlich? Gestern bin ich daheim gewesen. Gestern bin ich daheim gewesen? Ja, es ist... Genossen gewesen. Yeah, he can understand me. Yeah, so that's the fun thing. Like, it sounds so different. Gestern bin ich daheim gewesen. Gestern bin ich daheim gewesen. It's the same, but different. That's the grammar thing. <laughs> okay. Mm. That's the main thing I'm hearing. The differences of the ending sounds. Yeah. We went fishing and caught lots of fish. Okay, and next is we went fishing and caught lots of fish. Wir sind go fischen und wir haben ganz viel Fische gefangen. Ich war fischen und habe ganz viele Fische gefangen. It sounds similar. Very similar. similar. A little different. The pronunciation. Yeah, I think it's like a big thing. Was the well, it's mutually intelligible, right? You can understand each other. This might be some things like, huh? What did you, what did you say? Can you say that again? Um, I, I feel like it's almost like Swiss German and German 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 is almost like an English person <laughs> trying to understand a Scottish person <laughs> or Irish person speaking English because their accents can be so strong, like. It's just like, what did you say? Uh, you speak in English? I think you speak in English, but sometimes you say some weird stuff. The last, the last word you said? Gefangen. Gefangen. In, Fangen. I'm hearing a lot of in Fangen. the ending sounds, yeah. It's for him, again, the ends, and for me, the a er or e. Er. I have to use a little more grammar than her. <laughs> <laughs> when you hear us speaking like this, German language and the Swiss language. Can you hear that it's a different language from a different country? Um, I think it sounds very similar, but... I don't think it's a different language. It's just, it just sounds like a different dialect of the same language. I can tell that there's a difference. Definitely the ending sounds and some of the words too, I can pick up on. So I can tell it's, it's different, but very similar. It was really 
fun for me to see your reaction. <laughs> yeah, I haven't heard a lot of people from Switzerland speak. So Mal I think bye. it was really interesting hearing it Mal today. Bye. Um, I went to Germany before, actually earlier, like last year. So I was kind of more familiar hearing the language a bit more, but yeah, it's really cool hearing the differences. Next time go to Switzerland. Okay, yeah, next time maybe <laughs> I'll go to Switzerland. Be my host, I will. <laughs> In fact, I have heard a lot of uh, Swiss German since I was little, so I can kind of understand it. Doesn't mean I can speak it. Oh, I can understand at least. Did have uh, a few uh, Swiss people around me when growing up. Keeping your hometown a secret? No, of course. Why is his voice so deep? I just can't get over how deep his voice is. Is he putting on that deepness? Like, it's just so deep. <laughs> okay, <laughs> guess in the comments. <laughs> Guys, visit, visit my hometown. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so today we compared Swiss German and German German with our guests today. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you don't like it, still do it. <laughs> <laughs> we will see you next time and have a good time till then. Bye! Bye. <laughs> they couldn't put two more like different, obviously one's a male and one's a female, but like they're so very different. One, I feel like he's very like German in the sense he's very monotone. <laughs> She's very Ah, 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 very Swiss. <laughs> I am in the middle. I don't have any like real stance on anything. Everything is nice and in between. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I don't know. Guys, um, yeah, that was very interesting. And there he is again. I might watch this one at some point. Because <laughs> I find him fascinating. I find his voice fascinating. Interesting guy. Also, yeah, I feel like Swiss is just a different dialect of German. It sounds you're pretty much saying the same thing. Um, I find German easier to understand just from listening to it, but maybe that's because, I, you know, I did like a year or two of German when I was very, 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 very young. And even though I only like learned how to say my name is Dwayne and like count in numbers in German, I think it's, I think I'm used to hearing German. And I got this channel where I do German reactions, so I'm used to the sound of German more than I am of Swiss. So yeah, I'm biased. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Until the next one, I will see you very soon.